everyone, my name is Dead Gambit and welcome to Vincent, Secret of Myers. And if you haven't already been able to guess by the artwork, yes, it is made by the same person that did uh, therapy with Dr. Kruger. So uh, yeah, you can find this game on itch.io and he, it also has donations on it too. So if you want to donate, go ahead and donate. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the game. <laughs> all right. That's not ominous at all. Uh, play. There's chapters in this game. This should be interesting. <clears throat> Fires Corporation. This game contains jump scares, slashing imagery, and other horror elements. Please refrain yourself from playing if you believe it can affect you in any way. Escape, right click, from game menu, left click, enter, advances dialog, and activates the interface. Let me... Sorry, I gotta turn down my phone. There we go. Alright. Left click, enter, advances, already read that. Space, advances dialogue without selecting choices. S keys, screenshots, all right. Chaser, a new headache? A new headache, two, expedited, expedited. Dear Monshua M, I very, I very much regret to inform you that we have encountered a new problem, just as we suspected. That woman is still alive. That's not ominous at all. And the thing we have long been searching for is on her. Kindly let me know how you wish to proceed. Best regards, The Chaser. Tonight at 10, I will see you at the same location we always meet. All right. I don't know what that all was about, but that was interesting. Okay, backlog, skip, auto save. Q to save? What? Q save? Quick save, okay. And then settings. Initializing, initialization complete, awaiting command. Begin execution. I haven't a clue what just happened there. <laughs> it was just clicking buttons and it was learning and then I answered an email. Um. All right. It is believed that personalities are forged through experiences, that when we are first born, we are no different than a ball of clay. As we journey through life, we constantly change, being shaped either by traumatic events or mundane, mund mundanities of everyday life. Even if it's something as trivial as the food you eat, coffee you buy, or the time you clock into work, those unassuming little things, they alter the paths to our fate without us recognizing it. And of course, when a person loses their memories, their origins are gone. I might a little closer. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, that should do. But there is one thing that always lingers at the back of my mind. What would happen if someone, if some gains memories that don't belong to them? Huh. All right. I would love to find out what they become. All right. I don't think this guy is uh, very much on the up and up on the straight and narrow, if you ask me. I think this guy is pretty fishy. My head, it hurts. How long have I been asleep? Being barely able to withstand the pain, I forced myself to sit up. Uh, hold on, one quickity quick sec. Ah, no wonder. 
I didn't have it on the right aspect ratio. I'm so sorry. All right, there we go. Huh? Where, where am I? What I saw was a luxurious bedroom and belled in excellent choices of upholstery with lavish and upscale decor scorning in the face of modesty. Wow. That is a lot to take in the first moment you realize that you're in somebody else's house. I mean, <laughs> wow. What happened? I struggled to recall anything about how I ended up here. My phone. Where's my phone? I frantically reached into my pockets. Hmm. But it wasn't there. Shit. What should I do? What on earth happened last night? How did I end up here? I guess I'll look around first. Maybe something will help me regain my memories. Alright, objective. Determine where you are. Tip. Click on objects to investigate them. You can end your investigation with the button in the top right corner. Okay, let's, let's check the bed first. Just the bed, but feels very comfortable. Great. The drawer? I pulled open the drawers next to the bed. G4 travel guide. Oh, it's in the same, uh, is it the same place as, uh, uh, Dr. Kruger? Were we in G4 or G2? I, I forgot. It, it's been a while. Um, let's see. G4 travel guide, award winning, insider advice from expert dino. Okay. Is this a travel guide? Can I flip it over? Ooh, whoa, 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 back up. Okay. I skimmed through some of the pages. The content consists of meticulously curated articles and photography of local attractions. You know, for someone who woke up in a strange place, has no idea what's going on, you sure do use a lot of big words. Collected evidence. Travel guide. Right, let's look at these pictures. A string of contemporary artwork on the wall brightened the room, each, each of them vying of attention. Big words. Um, I guess the window is the last thing. Everything seemed oddly quiet outside the window. There were only leaves rustling to the rhythm of the breeze. All I could see in the distance was a boundless expanse of mountains blanketed in the forest, stretching as far as the eye could see. You know what? I should be a poet, in all honesty. Collected evidence, the view. Um, alright, I guess I'm finished. Investigation complete. After making a thorough inspection of the room, I returned to take the travel guide out of the drawer. I quickly, I quickly flipped through it and found a map included on the very last page. Judging from what I've seen so far, I'm probably in... G4! Because it's a travel guide, obviously. <laughs> G4, I wonder what it would have said if I had gotten that wrong. I, I kind of want to do that. But in all honesty, I cannot replay through games like this when everything is extremely linear and it's just a few choices that change things i literally cannot replay this and i struggled through replaying dr kruger just to see the other endings honestly which i still have to do i am still gonna try to do it but it's probably not gonna be anytime soon honestly but uh anyways uh g4 district the G4 travel guide I have in my hand was likely prepared by the owner of the house for guests staying in this room. If that's the case, I would have to be in the G4 district. However, G4 is not a small region. To get a firmer grasp on my predicament, I have to collect myself and be more specific. Okay, G4. Which part of the G4 district could I be in? I would have to say the suburbs. The trees and the breeze, man. The trees and the breeze. I'm already making poems. It wouldn't make any sense if it was a city, 
All I saw from the window was a vast terrain of forestry, and there wasn't any trace of other buildings in proximity. A place so isolated, so enough that a pin could drop, quiet enough that a pin could be, that a pin drop could be heard, has to be the suburbs of G4. All right, G4 suburbs. How did I end up here? Hmm. I felt myself getting more and more bewildered. Huh? Suddenly, a succession, a succession of footfalls outside my room interrupted my thoughts. Is someone else here? Should I go check it out? Tips: Make sure to save regularly. All right, boss. Oh, I accidentally. I didn't want to save there. Uh, whatever. Staying continue to rest. I should go investigate. Ooh, whoa, hey, hey, what's going on? Shit, my head, it hurts. But it would be a waste of time for me to stay here. Maybe the person outside knows something. <clears throat> I got out of bed and made a beeline to the door. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. The lobby was shrouded in darkness. All I could faintly discern were the contours of the bar of a bar room set up in front of me. A bar counter? A possible scenario is that I passed out here after getting drunk. It could be a hangover. That could be true, but that still doesn't explain exactly where we are. Yet, judging from my surroundings, I highly doubt that a bar is what I'm at right now. To me, this place seems like someone's residency. Whose house could this possibly be then? I have no clue. Oh, hello. Huh? Behind me, I heard the stomping of something approaching at an accelerated tempo, striking my eardrums with heavy percussion that were almost deafening as it continued to grow in strength. And my racing heartbeat began to resonate with it. What is going on? Cautiously, I looked back. Oh, hey, whoa. Hello. What, what is that? The scene in front of me is an un, unutterable atrocity. A disfigured face, half sawed, half sawed off with fresh blood oozing from its remaining pores, making small puddles on the floor. Its disproportionate bulged eye is filled with contempt, while every broken capillary and vessel extended across the square, <laughs> emitting dis disparate discharges. <laughs> My god. My god, these <laughs> this vocabulary. Wow. Just immaculate. And the only thing that even looked close to human. Oh, hey! Calm down there, buddy. Was its forced, contorted grin. Go away! Live or die. What, what, what? Huh? I backed away quickly and was able to see the full form of this creature. Blood was gushing out from every crevice of it, looking like it would it could collapse into a pile of limbs with a pull of a string. Hey, hey, hey! Waving its claw in the air, it snarled at me with its unfathomable anguish and began to approach me. What should I do? Uh, 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 run back to the room? Okay? There is no way I can fight that thing with my headache. I need to hide. I sprinted back to the bedroom, slammed the door, and locked it as fast as I could with my remaining strength. Wow. So now I have timed events. Okay. I held my breath firmly as the monster banged on the door, trying to shred it apart, stifling my audible panting. Oh, oh God. That's not good. Huh? Is it gone? Am I safe? I try to regain my composure in increments, but I'm trapped here now. What should I do? Distress had me overwhelmed. Uh, maybe we should go back and rest. Ah, my headache, it's unbearable. 
I think it would be better for me to rest a bit more. I'll figure out how to get out of here when, once I feel better. <coughs> Excuse me. I laid down, nestled into the velvety bed, and tucked the blanket snug over me. Oh yeah, once you hide under the blankets, no monsters can get you. True fact, very proven. Proven theory. Uh, soon I was able to sleep before I realized it. Honestly, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't just knock out like that. I, I would... I don't know. I'd probably be up all night. Huh? What time is it now? Slowly, I opened my eyes. Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> What's up? I was greeted by a figure sitting in the darkness at the edge of my bed, staring at me with his eerie eyes. Hi! Well, this is different. Didn't the colors change? Wasn't the bed pink? Who, who are you? For some reason, he was amused by my uneasiness. Relax, my dear. He laughed. I was simply demanded by the owner of the mansion to keep an eye on you and make sure you're not causing any trouble. Mansion? I'm in a mansion? How did I get here? And who exactly are you? I gave him a wary glance and covered more of my body with the blanket. Who am I? With his head tilted, he looked at me, seemingly entertained. My name is Victor Blake, and I'm a good friend with the owner of this mansion. Victor Blake? Victor Blake. Alright! Character introduction! Oh, I guess that was it. I calmed down and started to take a closer look at this man. <laughs> I, I love that. He was wearing a tasteful black bow tie and had a vibrant, stylish red hair. But the most striking part about him had to be his unusual eye and arms. Are those... mechanical prosthetics? Well, as far as for how you ended up here, I am personally quite curious about that as well. So he has no clue how I got, at, how I got here either. What else should I ask him? Uh, who's the owner of this mansion? Have you been watching me sleep this whole time? What happened to your eyes and your arms? What was that thing? In the conversation, who's the owner? You mentioned that you were not the one who owned this place. Who's the owner then? The owner? His name is Vincent Edgeworth. How should I put this? He is quite an adorable man, yet can yet could be extremely dangerous at the same time. Vincent Edgeworth? Hmm, for some reason his name rang a bell. Uh, have you been watching me sleep this whole time? <laughs> Indeed I have, my dear. In fact, I'm getting quite env envious seeing how peacefully you slept. I felt my cheeks warming up, despite having no familiarity with them. Uh, I wonder if this will ultimately kill me. Should I end it here, or should I ask these questions that would probably get me killed? I'm gonna ask the questions that will probably get me killed. I'm gonna save first, like the thing suggested. Now I'm gonna go back and ask this question. Did you see that petrifying monster with blood oozing out of its body? A monster? He seemed puzzled. Oh, let me guess. You're talking about those cyborgs, huh? Cyborgs? And there's more than one of them? Don't be so worried, my dear. They're just Vincent's little pets. Pets? That thing almost had me for dinner. <clears throat> um... Oh, I didn't even ask... Okay, what happened to your eyes and arm? Hmm. Victor went silent for a moment. Well, what can I say? There are things in our lives that won't always go our way, huh? He shrugged his shoulders, smiled, and my question seemed to be soon forgotten. Alright, let's end it here before I die. If Victor doesn't know how I ended up here, either, then there's no need for me to keep asking him questions. Well then, 
I guess it's time for me to take my leave now. I lifted the posh blankets to the side and got out of my bed. Please thank Mr. Edgeworth on my behalf providing me with such a nice room. I started to make my way towards the door. Uh -huh. May I ask where you're heading to, my dear? Victor looked at me with curiosity. Where? I'm heading back to... Back to... I felt my hand tighten on the door handle like a vice. I struggled to come up with a response. Where am I going? Where is my home? I realized that I had not simply forgotten what happened last night. I had... Lost all my memories. <coughs> Vincent! Oh, it's just the title. I'm guessing that was the introduction. <sighs> no name, no cash, no ID. I'm not even in a position to be a vagabond. Oh, darling, please, don't be so distressed. You have to realize, losing your memories could also be a blessing. Countless people are imprisoned by their own memories. They say their best let go, yet cling to them at the same time. But you, on the other hand, are given a second chance. Isn't that wonderful? I'll be honest, even I'm getting a bit jealous. I see where his point is coming from, but seriously, what can be worse than being homeless? I sighed again. Victor! How many times do I have to tell you? Quit smoking in my mansion! Well, 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 speak of the devil. If it isn't my dear friend, Vincent. Alright! Here we go, the man of the hour! Vincent? So he's the owner of this mansion? Madam, if this perverted man has caused you any trouble, I could call the police and have him arrested right away. Um, I think I'm good. Thank you, though, I responded awkwardly. Are those two really friends? Vincent? Man, I, ah, bah. I just had like a brain fart. <laughs> Vincent, may I ask you if- may I ask if you are the owner of this mansion? Indeed I am, he smiled. My apologies for not introducing myself properly. My name is Vincent Edgeworth, Edgeworth and I'm the owner of this mansion. Vincent Edgeworth. Alright, Vincent Edgeworth. Welcome to the arena. May I have your name, madam? And the reason for your visit? The reason for my visit? So I was the one who came here to begin with. Um, I... I wasn't... Sh I wasn't sure how to respond. It is a shame, Vincent. It appears that our guest has lost all her memories. Victor came to my rescue. Hmm, is that so? How interesting. If that's the case, shall we decide on a new name for you then, madam? I guess he's right. A temporary name would be better than nothing. Well then, what should my name be? Enter a name. Uh... Your name here. Oh, I can't fit that. Uh, Victor. No, that's his name. Uh, 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 Chonklas. There we go, it's, it's a proven, always proven. Yes! Chonklas, oh, please call me Chonklas. Chonklas? Very good. It is a great pleasure to meet you, I'm not saying that name. You seem to be very distressed, and I'm assuming you have many questions on your mind right now. Is there anything I could try to help you with? Vincent might know something valuable that will reopen my memory banks. What should I ask him? Obviously, how did I get here? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, please tell me, how did I end up here? Uh, how did you end up here? I regret to inform you that I don't know either. Great. Oh, the truth is, my butler was the one who heard the peculiar knocking sounds on the door last night. When he opened, when he went to open it, 
He saw you face down on the stairs, unconscious. Since we knew nothing about you or the reason you were here, we decided, we decided to place you in the guest room for the time being. Huh. Vincent's words sent me deep into thought. Why on earth would I come to his mansion? Alright, what was that monster? Earlier today, I saw some sort of creature I'd never seen before. Something that seemed half human, half robotic. That was half robotic? No, 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 that looked, that looked like a, a, a monster, a demon of sorts, even. Ugh. What exactly was that? Oh, my dear, it appears you have already met one of my friends. But promise me, would you? Do refrain from feeding them if it isn't their meal time yet. I guess it would be, I would be a fitting appetizer for them, am I not? All right. Uh, did I bring anything with me? Or did I have anything on me when I arrived? Hmm. hmm. Speaking of that, we did find this in your pocket. He handed me a business card. <clears throat> Myers Corporation 666, of course. Myers Road, G4, 48108. So I am from G4, so it's not just visiting. The card was my was mostly unrecognizable except for the huge M-shaped logo. Buyers Corporation? I pondered where I've heard that name before. The Travel Guide or the map no. The Travel Guide, right? Yes, I think. Yes. I'm 100 percent sure I had already forgotten, but it is a travel guide. I am 100 percent sure about that. Why would I why would I own a business card of someone working there? What is Myers Corporation? I looked up and asked. Myers Corporation is a world famous mechanical engineering corporation based in the G4 district, said Victor. It is also the first company that was able to develop highly flexible mechanical prosthetics. But unfortunately, this company was forced to declare bankruptcy due to a horrific incident that took place five years ago. Oh, that was a mouthful. A horrific event? Incident? The G4 Cyborg Incident. Vincent seemed displeased at even the mention of it. The G4 Cyborg Incident? What happened? Both Vincent and Victor fell silent for a moment as if they were debating if I should even carry the knowledge of this event. In January 2080, a notable number of citizens mysteriously went missing in a single week. Victor finally started to speak again. They disappeared without any sign, as if they had evaporated into thin air. No wills, no corpses, no bloodstains, not a single trace. But there was one thing those people had in common. They were all last spotted near the G4 district. Who would have had enough power to make hundreds of citizens disappear in a single week? Naturally, the police suspected Myers Corporation, a mega international monopoly located in the G4 district. Nonetheless, Myers Corporation refused to admit that they had any involvement in this matter. After a year-long investigation, the police accidentally discovered a secret chamber located in the basement of the corporation. Inside the chamber, there was a group of cyborgs. Cyborg? Isn't that the thing I saw before? It would be natural for you to assume those cyborgs were the missing citizens. But the truth is more gruesome than that. Oh, hello! The truth was, those missing citizens were used as cattle feed for the cyborgs. Uh, uh, that is gross. But I wonder. I don't. I honestly did not check the dates of these. But I wonder if Doctor Kruger was using. Uh, if that's what he was feeding us to every time you failed. Um. Uh, the therapy session because he always said would you help us feed the district so I'm assuming that he had a hand to play with this if this came after the events of Dr. Kruger again I have no idea 
Well, I guess it really wouldn't be when the games came out, but I'm thinking that because I don't know what year Dr. Kruger took place. I don't know if they mentioned it. I forgot, but they could have a connection that that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> that'll, that'll actually be really cool if that's the case. Um, anyways, as for where the cyborgs went themselves originally, as for where the cyborgs themselves originally came from, nobody was really sure. Even in the light of this discovery, Miles Corporation still firmly denied the fact that they had ever granted permission for such inhumane experiments. With help from an attorney, one innocent employee was convicted. Hey, hey, hey that looks like... That looks like, uh, Vincent. Oh wait, no, that's another guy. So Vincent's the attorney? He was sentenced to life without parole, yet the company itself was free of charge. However, that was not the end of the story. Two months later, the attorney suffered serious injuries from a vehicle accident and was one step away from getting killed. Within the same year, all core members of Myers Corporations were found brutally murdered. Ooh. The perpetrator, but the perpetrator behind these horrific acts was never found. To this day, people still mysteriously vanish, vanish in the G4 district. Rumor says that the spirits of the victims and the experiments are still wandering the streets, taking the lives of those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. I have a feeling that is Dr. Kruger. I have a feeling. <clears throat> Victor's story sent shivers down my spine. I was not expecting such a chilling urban legend from the G4 district. Victor, may I ask how you knew of all this? The answer, is, the answer to that is simple. Victor laughed. Both Vincent and I are former employees of Meyer Corporation. Huh? Victor, I must say that I'm quite impressed by how much you have committed to the story to memory, Vincent said sarcastically. Ahem, ahem, Victor tried to cough it off. He glanced at the clock on the wall and seemed to be a bit troubled by the time. Well, well, story time's over. I shall take my leave now. Vincent, join me for a drink at the pub tomorrow night, won't you? And it was a pleasure to meet you, my dear. Victor left the mansion. After that, Victor helped me settle into the guest room. I thanked him and then returned to my room to get some rest for the night. Alright, are we gonna do more exploring? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just dust. It was around midnight when I was quietly lying on my bed with my mind racing. I kept thinking about what Victor told me. The missing G4 citizens, the cyborgs in the basement, and the mysterious Myers Corporation. Myers Corporation? No, it was Kruger. It was Kruger Corporation, or Kruger Incorporated, so I don't think the companies were the same. But I'm still banking on the idea that Dr. Kruger was abducting people, just like how he abducted my character. And then, if they failed, he would send them to the Myers Corporation basement, and the cyborgs would feed on them. That is my theory, and I am sticking to it. Nobody can tell me otherwise, unless this obviously tells me otherwise, which would be a bummer. But anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, time to continue. I took the card out of my pocket and scrutinized it under the moonlight. Why was this all I brought with me to Vincent's mansion? What exactly do I have to do with Myers Corporation? There was only one place I should go to find out. So I, I just left? Oh no, I'm still there. Okay, that is the Myers Corporation itself. Objective, enter Myers Corporation. Tips, click on arrows to move around. Any items you collect will be shown in the top left corner. 
Let me save. I don't know what chapter I am on. And I really don't know how I would know, because I don't think they showed the chapters. But, anyways, um... Okay, I get that. You can now speed up the scene transitions by double clicking. All right, let's go. I, I'm honestly invested in this story. This is pretty good so far. Looks like the main gate is locked shut. I'll have to find another way to get in. Oh, hello. What was that? Let's follow it. There's a picture. Located in the G4 district, Myers Corporation is an innovative company and research institute specializing in the application of mechanical prosthetics. The founder, Mr. Byers, believes that the reason why humans have become Earth's dominant species is because we were given the ability to innovate. And the application of such ability should be used not only in tool making, but also in application also in amplification of mankind's advantages. Therefore, Myers Corporation is committed to redefining the balance between machinery and human body, and a large number of Myers employees have undergone some degree of modification. As a result, they exemplify excellent working abilities and are for this reason more competent than most ordinary people. Uh, I don't know if somebody in the comments could correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't there already such a thing as body modification? It's like not something big like what they featured in Cyberpunk, but I know isn't there a thing where like people put like something in their hand to make their life easier or something like that? Again, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, I just I just remember hearing something about this and I found it hard to believe that this was a reality, but honestly, I wouldn't put it past us, so yeah, uh, okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> Ooh, Myers Murderer. That's what the graffiti says. It do say that, it do say that. Looks like there isn't a back gate either. Oi! What are you doing? Wait, wait a second! I shouted. Hey! Oh, hey, what's up? Sorry about that. I was busy with my work and didn't see you there. His work? Work? What kind of work? Oh, I'm a janitor. If that wasn't apparent. My name is... Question mark day... Hat? Parenthesis... Close parentheses... And... Isaac with... With the... With an asterisk... Whatever the things are called in another question mark... Noel? I don't know why... I don't know why I thought to read this whole thing. I'm just gonna say... Dagan Isaac Noel... Odat... Odachowski. Odachowski. Yes. Perfect. You can just call me Dino. Oh. Uh, of course. Huh? Dino. Dino! Welcome to the arena. <laughs> Sorry, but the the whole inter character introduction thing is funny because it literally sets it up like it's a like it's a fighting game, and I would honestly play a fighting game with all of uh, these characters in it. That'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, my job is to keep this place absolutely spotless, not leaving even a trace of dust. This guy is outstandingly suspicious. Who do you work for? Who do I work for? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, I call cleaning my job, but it is actually just my hobby. It's like I'm self-employed. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else I should ask him? Uh, it keeps changing. Uh, what do you have to do with Myers Corporation? 
Myers Corporation? Nothing really. I'm just a janitor. And I didn't get. Oh God! I, I don't need this again. I don't need this again. I, I I hit the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You know you really resemble Michael Myers, right? You know you. Oh, I already asked that. Huh? Good catch, miss. In fact, I am Michael Myers' number one fan. His graceful and elegant modesty is something all of us should aspire to. Why did I ask him something like that? Okay, so... Michael Myers, you have Dr. Kruger. Who... Dr. Kruger, he goes into your dreams or your subconscious. Which is like Freddy Krueger. And then you have Michael Myers. And then the Myers Corporation, which is just going around killing people. This rabbit hole goes deeper than I thought. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, Myers Corporation is pretty amazing. Even though it has been abandoned for over five years, you can still find new garbage here every day. Huh? New garbage? What do you mean? Um, you know, all kinds of garbage. Sometimes you find cyborg corpses, and other stuff. And other times you find new graffiti or posters. Just all kinds of weird stuff. Dino's response, or Dino's, Dino, or I'ma say Dino. Dino's response only produced more questions in my head. Abandoned for over five years, yet still having new things show up every day. There is only one explanation for that. Somebody is still in the factory. That is, Myers Corporation is not entirely abandoned. It's what I just said. <laughs> Thank you for the rehash. To know for sure, I need to find a way to get in. Dino, do you know if there's a way to get into Myers Corporation? Hmm, about that. From what I've heard, Myers Corporation has a secret employee passageway. Maybe something around here can reveal the entrance, but that's all I know. Secret employee passageway. Objective, investigate alternative employee passageway. All right, here is something that has buttons. Is this a keypad? Is this a bird? Captain Obvious over here. Okay, all right. U is nine, E five, M seven, R is two, D one. Supposed to make an, a name. Some random English letters and numbers. It's a combination. This is some kind of encoded message. What is it trying to say? Murder? No, that wouldn't make any sense. That's two R's. Murd? Murdu? Redum? Remdu? Remd? Remude? Demure? I don't know, I'll come back to that. How do I... I did it explain... Hello! I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, what's up? I don't know if I want to get any closer to that. Okay. And there's a garage. Looks like the main gate is, is locked shut. I'll have to find... Oh, is this just the same... Did I just go in a complete circle? Okay, so... Alright. So, uh, passing this dead cyborg corpse... This is obviously the key. U E M R D. It's nine five seven two one. I I don't know if I'm overthinking this. Is this the actual? It, it can't be that simple. But let me check out the passcode. I get it. It is spelling murders. It's giving me the things. I think, if I'm not mistaken. 
I'm gonna quickly write this down because I am not good at memorizing this kind of stuff. So give me a quick second. A9, E5, M7, R2, D1. All right. All right. So, that being said, I should be able, it's going to be seven. Let's see if I remember how to spell. Nine, two, D, Mer. Durer, I think it is. Five. And then R again. And then, and then R again. Access granted. Look at that, I'm a genius. Uh oh, hi. Oh, looks like you successfully opened the secret passageway. Right. Where exactly is it? Oh, okay. So it was somebody or somewhere. Oh, what if it is behind the dead cyborg? Because that's where I would put a secret passage. Is it behind here, buddy? No. It's not the front gate, is it? Okay, no, it's still locked. Ah! Of course. Is this the secret passageway Dino was talking about? Alright, bye Dino! Thanks for the help! <clears throat> After entering, what I saw was another gate shut tight in front of me. Hmm. Well, I guess there's, there's a second barrier. This is this a retinal scanner? What's this? Is this some kind of iris scanner? Again! I would like to point out that I did already figure that out, and you did not have to rehash it, but thank you for reiterating what I already knew. I placed my face right in front of it. Sure enough, looks like I have to find another way to circumvent it. I'm guessing it's either gonna be Dino or the dead robot. I'm gonna try the dead robot- OH! I didn't- I- I- I didn't need that. Truthfully, I- I- I didn't need that. Well, looks like I don't really have a choice now. Should I remove the eyeball? Yes! Oh, God is so visceral! What, what the heck was, what, what was any of that? <laughs> what just came over me? What was that chamber I saw? Right, I got the cyborg's eye. Left click to choose the object you'd like to use. The chosen object will be highlighted in red. Clicking the object again will self, will deselect it and resume the normal investigation. We do a quick save here because whatever the heck just flashed past me and Made my heart jump out of his chest. It's probably going to end up killing me in the future. Please do not be in here. All right. Here we go. It worked. Okay. Needlessly suspenseful. Investigation completed. Successfully entered the secret passageway. Great, great. Am I gonna die soon? I feel like I'm gonna die soon. Good evening, my dear Monsieur N. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm mixing up my... <laughs> I'm mixing up my characters again. <laughs> One moment. 
You're one minute late. My most sincere apologies, my dear Monsieur M. I am deeply ashamed of my behavior. That's not the kind of character I wanted either. I gotta figure this guy out. I'll do that later. I heard that you had something important to tell me. Is that true? Yes, sir. I have good news and bad news. Oh? The good news is, according to a reliable source, she has awakened. But the bad news is, she doesn't seem to remember who she is. Hmm, that is quite unexpected. Well, what's your plans then, my dear Monsieur M? This is Vincent, isn't it? I feel like this is Vincent, so I'm just gonna go back to doing whatever character sound I was doing for Vincent. I don't have one. All we need to do is sit here and wait for her arrival. Chapter 1, the end. So I'm now on chapter 1. So all of that was the prologue. And I, and I am now, th this is chapter 1 now. It's happening now. Okay. That, okay, I thought, whatever. Uh, the first thing that caught my eyes as I entered Myers Corporation through the secret entrance was a dark and narrow passage. I couldn't see at the end of the passage. The only thing that allowed me to make out the outline of my surroundings was a small amount of sunlight coming from the outside. <coughs> What's waiting for me at the other end of the passage? I don't know. At that moment, I didn't feel fear, only doubt filled my heart. Hey, buddy, you're back. Excuse me. My mind kept going back to, this, to that secret chamber that I saw when I took off the eyeball and the cyborg that kept approaching me. What on earth was it? Was it an illusion? Or was it just my imagination? And yet, everything seemed so real. At that moment, it was as if I was really in that secret chamber. The, the repression, fear, despair I felt. That kind of intense feeling that I couldn't find words to describe. There are many ways to explain what I saw. Waking up to find yourself in a mysterious mansion, having lost all your memories, and the first thing to greet you was a broken cyborg? No matter who you are, you'd start making some strange assumptions. This must be the result of me being overstressed, I said to myself. But deep in my mind, there seemed to be another voice whispering to me. Everything you saw... really happened. Ooh. Objective! Enter the Myers Lobby. Oh! That doesn't look very good. In fact, it looks pretty bad. Somebody spilled their juice. Puddle of blood. To be honest, this is not what I wanted to see. But I'm starting to get used to it. Hmm, from the shape of the blood splatter, it looks like a body has been dragged deeper into the tunnel after someone had killed it. You know what? You're a great detective, honestly. I squatted down and carefully dipped my fingertips into it. No hallucinations, nothing happened this time. But, is it fresh blood? I rubbed my fingertips with my thumb. The puddle of blood is not completely dried up. I knew it. I knew it. In other words, I may not be the only uninvited guest here. I need to be careful. All right, let's continue to follow the blood. Follow the red brick to hello and hi. Who is that? And who are you? What are you? You're cordially inv- Oh, is this an invitation? The bottom half of the invitation was burned, so I can only- So I can't see what came after. But on the invitation, someone has written a small paragraph with a pen that looks like it has been added afterwards. 
Do you like parties? Enjoying good food and drink? Strengthening relationships? The fact that there is a party proves that this is a day to be celebrated. But unfortunately, happiness and despair are not absolute. They are, inter they are interdependent and can be transformed into each other. And what looks like a charming backyard, hidden beneath the lawn can be ugly, wriggling with insects. And what may seem like a good time to you, may be a shadow that lingers for the rest of his life. Alright. I do want to read this part. You're cordially invited! That's all I wanted to read. Can I... Yeah. No, no, no. We're done. We're done. We're done! Okay. I just wanted to read that. Hey, hey, whoa, what was that? Okay. Huh? This should be the end of the employee passageway. To be honest, it is not as long as I thought it would be. But before that, I looked around and took a deep breath. <clears throat> Anybody there? I called out into the passage. Hello? Anybody there? Okay. Oh. For a moment, I thought I heard a low, vague reply, but it was just a distorted echo of my voice. Strangely enough, the figure I had just seen is now inexplicably gone. And there is an even, even thicker, tr ah, trickier problem at hand. If I want access to the lobby, I'll need to, f to enter a four-digit code. 2080? Is it the year 2080? Well, in this case, I started thinking. Is it 2080? Is the year 2080 the day the nightmare began? 2080? What was that? Just then, a screeching noise came from behind me, interrupting my thoughts. What was that noise? I, I really don't want to... Let, let, let me... I don't know the I don't know what the code is yet. Using brute force would just be a waste of time. It's 2080. I don't want to look back there. I really don't. If I have the choice to escape, oh no, Mr. Glove! Is this some kind of toy? I don't quite understand, but it looks like an arm with arms. <laughs> But more importantly, I'm pretty sure this thing wasn't there before. A strange noise from earlier could have been the sound of it falling. Who is following me here? And what do they want? Right. Do I need to go back? But, uh... I don't think I need to... I know the code. I don't need to go back to Dino. He already said it has to be 2080. Okay, I keep going back and forth. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm I am so dumb. I forgot I could click on the blood stained um evidence here. The day the nightmare began. Is that a clue? Or do I really have to go back? Okay. See, when I play games like this, I'm one of those people that... As soon as I see the answer, I just automatically want to put it in. And I don't want to have to unlock a lot of stuff just to get... You know, to the point that I need to be. I can only go forward. Okay, so I can't exactly leave. The party note might have a clue. The party note might have a clue. Okay, somebody had written, do you like parties, enjoying good food, blah, 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 blah. Unfortunately, blah, 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 blah. Something ugly, insects, your lawn. 
Okay, and then there's this. Oh, I for okay, bloodstained arm with arms. It looks like some sort of toy. The blood on the toy is not completely dried, which makes me wonder if it was from the same person as the blood on the floor. Maybe I should pick it up and take a closer look. Okay. Alright, I... I don't know what's going on, but it can't be good. Myers Corporation. That's the goal of everyone at G4. A place to make dreams come true and parents proud. At least, that's what I thought. I'll never forget the day I came to Myers. The first day, of course! My excitement and exhilaration inevitably mixed up with nervousness. Because to me, it was the renewed, it was the reward for my years of dedication and hard work. I think every single elite in Myers can relate to that. But who would have thought that behind this company that so many G4 residents longed for was only... There was only filth, sin, and the blood that would never dry up. Who am I? I am no longer human. At this time... Oh, me. I'm so sorry. At this time, I can't even remember my own name. Every day now, I can only wander aimlessly around Myers. What am I struggling to find? <clears throat> I don't know. 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 I only wish someone could put me out of my misery. That's not very forward and positive thinking. You know, not everything is all bleak. You know, sometimes it can be sunshine and rainbows. You know, there. There, there is a silver lining. There's gold at the end of that rainbow. I, I don't know. What was this? Where have I arrived at? So this must be my desk. Phew! Okay, John, calm down. It's just a job. I just need a smile and politely introduce myself to everyone. Okay, okay. Three. Two, one, nice to meet you! My name is John! Um, wouldn't that seem a bit too emotional? Start over, start over. Three, two, one, nice to meet- Oh, are you John, the new guy? Uh huh? Hey, it's Victor! Welcome to Myers. In case you don't know, I'm the Chief Invest Investment Officer, Victor Blake. Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Blake. <laughs> no need to be so formal. Just call me Victor. Looks like you've done all the paperwork to get started. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know where your desk is. Yes, I've done it all. Very good. Have you finished the, the online courses for the G4 District as well? Uh, online courses? Hmm, could it be that this is your first job? Yes. Actually, I have just graduated from college. Oh, is that so? Your parents must be very proud of you being able to work in Myers right after college. But even so, you had to complete the G4 online course. It is mandatory for every employee on the job. Don't worry. It's just trying to teach you equity, etiquette, and how to behave properly. You know, don't get physical with your co-workers and things like that. Shh, let me tell you. I've never really paid attention to the lectures either. Oh, really? That's not good to hear, Director Blake. In fact, I believe you are... You are the one who needs the courses the most in the company, Mr. Director. Need I remind you of your great feet? Of your great feet last night when you vomited all over the floor in the lavatory of my residence? I must say, your etiquette and behavior are quite impressive, Mr. Blake. Oh, my dear Vincent, what brings you to the investment department? I am just happened to be passing by. It seems that Mr. Myers wants to discuss some important matters with me. So, who is this? 
Meyer's newest employee, John. As of today, John is a member of the investment department. <laughs> Hello! John, is it? Nice to meet you. I'm Vincent Edgeworth. You have my sympathies for being assigned to this man's department. If he ever treats you badly, you are welcome to transfer to the legal department anytime. We are located on the other side of the company. Er, okay, understood. Oh, congratulations on your success in helping Myers out, Vincent. Victor, that was already two months ago. Huh? So you're the famous lawyer who defended Myers in the G4 cyborg incident? I heard your performance in the courtroom was incredible. I'm very flattered, John. It was indeed me who defended Myers, but I wouldn't consider myself famous. Vincent has been ha has been ha <laughs> Vincent has had his hand full with this for a while. Good thing he can finally relax now. Aren't you saying that too soon, Victor? Anyways, I must get going. I can't keep Mr. Myers waiting. It was my pleasure to meet you, John. Welcome to Myers. You're lucky to meet Vincent on this vi You are lucky to meet Vincent on your first day. Even I don't see him very often at work. That guy's attitude towards others has improved a lot since college, but he hasn't changed a bit towards me. Since college? Were you and Mr. Edgeworth college classmates? <laughs> Not only that, we were roommates. <laughs> Although he seems very gentle now, he was quite aloof to everyone back then. His pretty face may have won the hearts of many girls, but his cold and arrogant attitude did offend many classmates as well. However, what does remain unchanged is his perseverance and determination. When Vincent was in college, he had only one goal, and that was to get his dream job at Myers. Then he was just as busy as he is now always working late into the night to achieve his goals. But as you can see, hard work does pay off. He is now the chief legal officer at Myers. Alright John, I think it is time to give you some personal space to finish those, ten those tedious courses. If you have any questions about the company, please come to my desk. I hope you can enjoy your time at Myers. I'll see you later. Alright. Mr. Blake feels like a very easygoing boss, but what's his mechanical prosthesis prosthes 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 all about? What, is, what has he been through? And Mr. Edgeworth too, what Mr. Blake said made me want to know more about him as well. Anyways, this is not the time to think about that. Speaking of which, I haven't even checked out my desk. It's time to see what's uh, what's around here. See, I have a Mr. Gloves, the mascot of Myers Corporation, Meyer Chan. All right, I prefer Mr. Gloves better, but whatever. It's not my company. I guess I wasn't in the marketing department, which I mean, if I was, we'd have a better name for that. But whatever. While many people are not fond of his looks, it is rumored that Mr. Myers designed it himself, so no one dares to say anything. Got some canned hello? Huh? Oh, I'm back! What was that? Just as before, I seem to be seeing memories from the past that do not belong to me. What on earth is going on? Alright, by interacting with certain items, you can trigger events from the past. You can use this ability to help you solve the puzzle you are facing right now. Alright! No, I didn't mean to- Oh, I can continue! Yes! Alright, this note. A little post-it note. There are two pieces of candy next to it. To John, welcome to Myers Corporation. To celebrate your joining, we have a very special gift for you. That is the figurine of Myers Corporation's mascot, Myershan. Very lovely, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Anyways, we hope you'll enjoy your time at Myers Corporation. Myers Investment Department, 2081.4. Great. A computer. I need to use it to finish my work. Hey, it's Discord! Huh, what's this? Looks like the last employee sitting here forgot to quit the group chat account. Can I type what- Oh, what did I- What was that? I don't know what I just- I have no idea what happened. Okay. Number one. Hey, hey! Have you heard? Winston Loomis was the one behind the G4 cyborg incident. He got a life sentence. Winston? You mean the one who always wears shades, doesn't say a word, and has a bit of a hunched back? That's so unexpected. It's true that he doesn't really have any friends, but he doesn't seem like a bad person either. I disagree. This guy has always seemed kind of suspicious. I feel uncomfortable every time I see him. Is Winston really the mastermind of G4 Cyborg Incident? Something doesn't add up. Huh? What do you mean? How should I put this? This guy doesn't really seem like the type that could drag that many people into the basement to experiment on them. Maybe he had helpers, who knows? That's not what I'm saying. You see, this guy doesn't speak much, and hardly has any friends at Myers. In that case, wouldn't he be the best person to pin everything on? Hmm. Huh. Hey. What the hell are you thinking? You'd be targeted by the company for saying that. Huh? This this is just a random thought. <laughs> Anyways, let's change the subject to something more uplifting. I heard that if everything goes well, the company will host a party after all this after all of this. I'm sure it will go well. After all, we have Vincent. Party? When? Well, I think on Thursday, two months ago. Two months from now? I don't remember the exact date. <coughs> oh god. <clears throat> Thursday? Damn it, I work overtime every Thursday night. <laughs> I know when the party is, but I can't go either, because I'll be on vacation at that time. Eh? Vacation? That sounds nice. I'm pretty excited about it too. I haven't been in touch with my parents for a long time. However, I'm drooling at the thought of getting close to Victor at the party. You bastard. It would have been really fun if I could, like, interact and type something. <laughs> hmm, speaking of that, I did hear that Myers is having a party in a few days. That is strange. The employee sitting here is just on vacation. Why would the company let me take over his desk? Because he's dead! All right. A calendar. It may have been left behind by the previous employee. So we have, it looks like Vincent's birthday. And then over here, it looks like, oh no, it's the party. That's the party on the 20th. So Thursday 20th, February 2020. So, um, 0220? Or 2081. I, I don't know. It's a four digit. How much I know. Vacation time, April 17th. Okay. So that would be. Um. Okay, so there's nothing more I can do. So that's literally just the fourth 0417 if that's what they're going by. Okay, so 0220 0417. Those are the only clues that I have. Okay. Alright then, um I guess I have the answer. The code will unlock automatically after entering the correct answer. So the party was 0220?
Or maybe they just want the year, but they said the day. Wait, how does this work? Do I press enter? Not 2081. Okay, so what about 17? No, um. Four. 17? Am I, am I doing this wrong? Is it, it, let's see, maybe, maybe it's the other way. Okay, so then let's try 20th and then 02. Oh, I, I, I don't get it. Oh, Doki. This is going to require a little more investigative work. Here we go! Hey. Well, there's also the 26. Am I supposed to combine these? The day it happened. The 26 on February. So 0226. Let's see. O two D six or twenty six or maybe it's 2026? Maybe they're combining the times? 2617? Or maybe it's 2681? Six o two. Okay, clearly there's something I'm not seeing. I am missing something. 2081. Can't go back. And then we have the 20, the 17. 20, 26, and then the 17. Uh, 2081 point, 2081.4. So it's in April. I think. That's what it's saying, right? It's gotta be. Then, we redo this. Maybe they put the date in here. Okay, so it didn't have anything that I needed. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, right. Not sure. 
so 2081.4, which means it was in April. So maybe it should be 81.04. What am I missing here? The day that the nightmare began. The day that the nightmare began. And this note doesn't say the time or the date. The day that the nightmare began. It's gotta be something, a clue here am i missing but this is it this is all that was here so they said this was two months ago Gosh, I feel like the answer to this is going to be so incredibly obvious and it's going to make me feel so stupid, but I for the life of me cannot figure out where they are going with this. Um, but maybe I can find more clues if I keep... Am I allowed to leave or... No, I still can't go outside. That's terrific. Does blood have anything? No. The blood has continued and will utterly remain useless. Oh, there's the trail again. The blood trail ends here, but strangely enough, there is no corpse. No, I already read that. What am I missing? And I have... Oh. Okay, uh, I mean... April... Let me go back. Okay, let me try this one more time. Because I have played well over... Uh, what I usually do. Uh, okay, let me... Okay, February... Alright. The 20th was the birthday. And then April 17th. Missing something here? The only answer could be that it's, uh... 0220, it's gotta be. 02... O two twenty. For what? What? It was oh four twenty. 
Okay. Can I only go? Whoa! Jeez, I did not need that. Hmm. Okay. Hey, did you see Victor's face today? I did. It was really scary. What happened? Why is he being so strange today? Did you know? Vincent was in a very serious car accident last night on his way to the party. He is still in critical condition. Huh? Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, John, is it? Uh, is it Mr. Myers? Hello, hello. Please excuse my surprise visit. I just want to come by and say hi. Are you free after work today? Would you mind coming to the basement with me for a short conversation? Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Er, uh, and you are? Oh, this old brain of mine. How could I forget to introduce myself? Nice to meet you, my friend. You can call me Monsieur M. Well, there goes John. I feel like I did not do that properly. I wanted to try to investigate as much as I could. But I literally feel like I did that improperly. I kept going back looking for clues. Uh, and I couldn't get it, so I was just gonna literally just go up the number scale. I don't like how I solved that, honestly. No. Uh, lady... that's my name. Lady? I'm just gonna say, lady? LADY! With all due respect, napping here is not the most sensible choice. <clears throat> huh? Wh what happened? Excuse me, oh my god. <laughs> Good evening, my dear. Oh, uh, wait a minute, is that Vincent? No? Am I mistaking them? That's, that's Vincent, no? Am I misremembering my characters? Okay. It is an incredible chance of fate for us to meet each other in such a desolate place, don't you think? What appeared in front of me was a dark-haired young man who was dressed formally and elegantly. I guess it's not Vincent, I... Y yes He looked very similar to Vincent in appearance, but much younger. Are you a cyborg? Would you mind telling me who you are? Hmm. It seems inevitable, doesn't it? Only in youth does coincidence seem the same as fate. Later, we know that the real course of our lives is decided within us. That... That's not your name, is it? <laughs> you don't look so old yourself. I am Mr. Edgeworth's butler. You can call me Draco. Draco! Oh, Draco. Draco! Vincent's butler? So you're the one who saved me. You were also the one I saw earlier in the passageway, weren't you? What are you doing in Myers? It doesn't matter. What matters is what you're looking for, isn't it? What I'm looking for? The truth. You're searching for the truth. Mr. Edgeworth's past, Mr. Blake's incident, and the secret of Myers. You were curious about all this. But, but lady. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I don't want to say my name, because, let's face it, it's stupid, but I just want to experience just them just calling me Lady. <laughs> but Lady, have you ever heard of such a phrase? Curiosity about bad things is a curseable disease that arises from impure thoughts? Well, I heard curiosity kills the cat, but I guess it's the same thing. Draco, what exactly do you know? <laughs> I'm just a butler with little knowledge. I don't know much about the past of Myers Corporation. The truth is, I just can't bear to see such a lovely lady perish in this abandoned facility. Of course, I have my own reason to be here, but at the same time, I want to stop your impulsiveness. It is best you go back the way you came, lady. 
You don't belong here. And you don't deserve to be here. That was kind of ominous. Thank you for your kindness, Draco, Draco. But I've made my decision about it. You're right. I'm indeed curious about Myers Corporation. But what I care more about is finding my lost self. My name, my home, my family? I want to get it all back. I don't know why you're here, but I hope you can find what you're looking for. Now, if you would excuse me. Uh. Hmm. How stupid. Utterly stupid. Huh? Anyone who studies the history of human ca catastrophes can be sure that ignorance is the main source of human advers adversities. Your seemingly commendable courage is nothing more- Oh! Where's the log? There we go. <laughs> I gotta read this. Your seemingly commendable courage is nothing more than ignorance wrapped up in a pet- in a pretty package. In a pretty package! You gotta say with emphasis. You have absolutely no clue what you are about to face. Do you really believe that you can face up to all the dangers that are coming your way? Do you really believe that you can accept the truth that will be revealed? Are your memories really more precious than your life? Please forgive me for my bluntness, lady, but you will soon be embraced by death even before the truth befalls. Maybe Victor was right. Losing my memories could be a second chance. What was I like before? Who knows? Maybe the loss of memory was intentional on my part. Maybe everything right now is what I longed for. But I'm sorry, Draco. I don't care much about that. The old me can make her decision, her own decisions, but the new me, and only the new me, makes all the decisions now. And what I do know is, I don't feel complete without all my memories right now. I will not give up until I find out the truth. <clears throat> <laughs> Lady, you are so determined, it seems that there's nothing I can do about it. If that's the case, why don't we play a little game? A game? You came to Myers to investigate its past and your connection with it, didn't you? Then show me what you've learned. If you can answer my questions correctly, then I will allow you to continue the investigations here. Hold on! <laughs> I'm not cheating at all! However, if you fail... Hey, whoa, whoa, hey! Draco! Then I will end your life here with my own hands. Live or die. Alright. Warning, you will be able to give two incorrect answers to all of Draco's questions. Answering incorrectly more than twice or exceeding the time limit will immediately lead to death. Saving would be a great idea now. I made sure to save. Alright, question one. Oh god. In the world of peace, there is nothing to be desired but the most admired works in the world of in the world of peace, there is nothing to be respected but the creative tools of innovation. In order to break the shackles of tradition and develop science, science needs creation and imitation. As a super monopoly in the G4 district, Myers Corporation is no exception to this. Human beings stand out among all species because they are endowed with the ability to create and innovate. But for Mr. Myers, the application of such ability goes far beyond making tools. It has a more important role, play, role to play. If things are used for their strengths, then there will be no talent that is abandoned. If things are used for their weakness, then there will be no, then there will be no one that is satisfied. Therefore, Mr. Myers has set a slogan for the company since its inception. Uh, uh, the, the, the place where dreams come true, uh, 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 Myers Corporation go beyond limits, reality and make it possible. Shoot. Was it dreams? Oh my god. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. The dream. This. Oh no. <laughs> what the I think it was the third one. Um, Myers Corporation go beyond the limits of reality. What? Well, there goes me. Just kill me now, buddy. Sorry, lady. I only got two wrong.
That's not fair. I said if I got it more, if I got it wrong more than once or more than twice, I would die. That's not fair. I'm a cyborg. Uh, load. Okay. All right. Is it going to be the same question, though? <clears throat> In a world of peace, that is long. All right, so I already know the ones that I can rule out. Okay, to mold ideas, go beyond the limits, that wasn't it. Design, create, nice corporation. To mold ideas! No! Alright, design, create, and enhance. I guess. Alright, correct. Design, create, enhance, Myers Corporation. I don't remember reading that, but then again, I don't remember half the things when I play a game, so. Uh. Yeah, okay. Compared with ordinary people, the modified Myers employees exemplify better working abilities. Therefore, Myers Corporation focuses on designing, creating, and enhancing human strengths. <coughs> uh, how many questions? Rivers and mountains can only nourish a limited amount of soil, but the number of mediocre souls is infinite. The sinful souls do not des deserve to be judged and can only be redeemed by repaying their bodies to the world that has allowed it to take such. The above excerpt is from a gospel discovered by the police during the investigation of Myers Corporation. The gospel is considered to be the embodiment of the ideas and concepts of the mastermind of the G4 cyborg incident. The so-called mastermind was sentenced to life in prison, yet Myers Corporation itself was never charged. Nonetheless, a series of mysterious murders took place afterwards led to the belief that, that there was more to it than meets the eye. On July 20th, 2081, several small explosions occurred near the G4 Central Prison. I don't remember any of this being told to me. Okay, destroying part of the prison wall. Since then, the whereabouts of this former researcher from Myers, who is also known as the mastermind of the G4 cyborg incident, has been unknown. So which of the following is the infinite Mr. Winston Lunas? From the looks of it, it was this uh, guy right here. You can't pull a fast one on me, buddy. Because of his shyness and lack of friends, Winston Loomis was chosen by Myers as a scapegoat for the cyborg G4 cyborg incident. He was described in the group chat as the guy who always wears shades, doesn't say a word, and has a bit of a hunched back. The former employee who used John's desk also pointed out that he doesn't seem like the type that could drag that many people into the basement to the experiment of him. Question 3 and I have one chance less, good god. Innovation is not enough for a giant enterprise like Myers to succeed. It also needs to make proper use of resources. Humans did not create the earth, so the earth itself is not human property. Human property is through recreation, and every private owner owns, o owes rent to society for his possessions. For most people, the nightmare G4 cyborg incident began in the week in 2080. Many ordinary citizens disappeared without a sign. They were all last sent, seen near the G4 district. However, what's really strange is, according to the investigation of the G4 police, these ordinary citizens were not the cyborgs made in the basement. If that is the case, where did the material of, this, of Myers cyborgs come from? It would have to be the employees. Because all the employees, I think there was something that said that they undergone these changes themselves. <clears throat> By removing the cyborg's eyeballs, Chonkla successfully entered. No, I said my name! No! By removing the cyborg's eyeball, I successfully entered the secret employee passageway of Myers Corporation. The member of the former Myers employee, John, also sees it suggests that the previous employee sitting at John's desk, as well as John himself, was tragically killed. Because of the many classified experience that Myers has been conducting for a long time, many of its employees have l little contact with their families. 
As a result, no one would have been aware of their disappearances. There's another one? Oh god. Scientists don't rely on the ideas of individuals, but on the combined wisdom of thousands of people. Only when everyone thinks about a problem, and everyone does part of the work, will it be added to the great edifice of knowledge that is being built. Similarly, it is, in order to work more effectively, Mars Corporation is divided into many departments, large and small. In addition, each elite is assigned to their own dedicated department. This includes the outstanding graduates, Mr. Blake and Mr. Edgeworth. There are no smooth paths in science, only those who climb the step, the steep hills without fear or of hardships can hope to reach the summit of glory. So may I ask which two departments Mr. Blake and Mr. Edwards as former employees of Myers came from? Uh, investment and legal. Sir, you are really lowballing me with these childish questions. We know from John's past memories that Victor is John's boss and also chief investment officer. This is loud as heck. I'm, I'm sorry if I was yelling, but that was loud as heck. <laughs> and also chief investment officer at Myers Corporation. And Vincent's encounter with John revealed that he was the lawyer in charge of exonerating Myers from the G4 Cyborg incident and implied that he came from the legal department on the other side of the company. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm safe. Well done, la uh, lady. You did not disappoint me. Draco, I've answered all your questions. It's time to live up to the promise and let me go. As you wish. In fact, I had no intentions of hurting you to begin with. Okay, my first run through to your little game says otherwise. Okay, and I also found out that I'm a cyborg, so that doesn't really help. Huh? What about your threat of ending your life here with my own hands? I just thought it would make a. I just thought it would make the game more interesting that way. That's all. These guys are each weirder than the next. But Mr. Butler, I do have some questions for you as well. I'm just a butler with little knowledge. I'm just a butler with little knowledge. I don't know much about the past of Myers Corporation. If I remember correctly, you said that, didn't you? Indeed I did. Are there any problems? You have proved that that is a big lie. What are you hiding? And why on earth are you here? I'm not letting you step out of here until I get the answer. Hmm. You just can't win with this lady. But it won't hurt to tell you. The truth is, Mr. Edgeworth had a lot of hassles with the Myers Corporation. Hassles? Do you mean the car accident? Lady, you are very clever. I think you've also I think you've already guessed. The car accident was not actually an accident. It was carefully planned by the Myers Corporation. That explains Vincent's gloomy face when he heard about the G4 cyborg incident. It also sounds completely in line with Myers' style. But why did Myers try to kill Vincent? I don't understand. What did Vincent do? Didn't he get Myers Corporation off the hook for the G4 incident? The reason is simple. Because he knew the truth about the G-Borg cyborg incident. Although Mr. Edgeworth was a lawyer at Myers Corporation, to the core members he was just a pawn and another outsider. When the pawns have outlived their usefulness, they are discarded. And the fastest and most effective way to deal with unnecessary outsiders who know something they shouldn't is also to make them disappear from the world. Therefore, the company took the opportunity of holding a party to kill my master and with a with a premeditated car accident. <clears throat> However, they never expected that Mr. Edgeworth would survive. <coughs> my god, I've I have been dialoguing for far too long. Although the company failed in their plans, they did not stop there. Since then, oh, since then Mr. Edgeworth has received constant threats and harassments from the Myers Corporation. Harassments? Even after bankruptcy? Yes. 
There are signs that Myers Corporation has become a secret underground organization after the G4 Cyborg incident. But to me, that doesn't make much difference. The old Myers Corporation was just a terrorist organization hiding under the banner of scientific research. So what you're saying is, those still using the abandoned site of Myers Corporation is Myers itself? That is why I'm here. It is the answer I'm searching for. Wait a minute. If Vincent's car accident was the work of Myers, how do you explain all the deaths of all the core members? Someone, someone else must have been responsible for that, but I don't know who. Hmm. So basically, after Myers attempted to murder Vincent, there was another perpetrator who assassinated all the core members in Myers Corporation. Sounds like it was Myers, if I'm being honest. Or should I say Monsieur M? Hmm. So one last question, do you know how I am, how I'm involved with all of this? <clears throat> At that moment, Draco's spire, smile disappeared. I'm sorry, I don't know. For some reason, his tone is much heavier than before, and the sudden drop of formalities also left me, left me lost for words. That's what you're here for, isn't it? I'm sure you'll find the answer. Jacko regained his smile as if he suddenly became aware that he was being out of character. But this time, the smile was a bit different. It reminded me of someone else. I need your help, Jacko. If the two of us work together to investigate, we will soon find out the truth. <laughs> Partner with me? I'm really flattered. So listen up, lady. What I'm going to tell you next is very important for our investigation. Starting from the lobby, Myers Corporation is divided into two sections, left and right. Each section contains different departments and rooms. On the left is Mr. Blake's investigation investment department, and Mr. Edgeworth's legal department is on the right side of Myers Corporation. As to where you want to start, it is entirely up to you. No matter which route you choose, it will eventually lead to the basement. In other words, where the secret chamber the G4 cyborg incident is located. That is to say, if I want to know... Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> I'm getting my characters mixed up again. That is to say, if I want to know about Victor's past, I should go left. But if I'm more curious about Vincent, I should go right. That's an interesting explanation. You're not wrong saying that. So, lady, have you made up your mind? Hmm. Starting from the Myers Lobby, the game will have two different branches. Depending on the route I choose, the game will unfold differently. In order to keep the smooth, the plot smooth, branch uh, two will be unlocked after branch one is finished. Uh, game updated. What? Which route should I choose? I I'm gonna go with the first one. <coughs> Right, is it? Right, is it? Right, is it? What? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, once again, I had a brain fart. Looks like you're the, looks like you're more interested in Mr. Edgeworth. From the information we've gathered so far, Vincent seems to be more closely involved in the G4 cyborg incident. I believe investigating the legal department will give us the answers we want. I see. I'll have to agree. <laughs> What a... Just as Draco and I reach an agreement, the intercon in the mass in the my in the Myers lobby went off without warning. That's not creepy at all. Welcome to Myers Corporation. As, as, as the number one trusted source for mechanical prosthetics, we define global standards and create a first, first, first class corporate image. Design, create, enhance Myers Corporation. Please enjoy your visit and have a wonderful, 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 painful day. Oh, how lovely. What fresh hell is coming out of this door next?
From the far end of the employee passage in the distance comes a heart-rending howl. Oh, do I have to run? Impossible. What have they done to him? Draco's face suddenly became very serious. They? To him? Draco, what is going on? There's no time to explain. Let's go now. Wait a minute, Draco! Before I could finish, Draco pushed me to the right room of the lobby and then punched a button on the front desk. Draco! Don't you want don't you want to know the truth? Do you want to know who you are? Then go. If your life ends here, and if your life ends here now, all your efforts will be in vain. But what about you? Hello? I'm just a butler. Please don't worry about me. I'll try my best to hold him back. But, but... Like you, I am a person without a past. It wasn't long ago that my life could only be described as empty, mon monotonous, and boring. But the arrival of this one person changed everything around me. She helped me break free from the blank world and made me realize that nothing that nothing is more important than the present. She is very important to me, and I can't lose her for a second. Draco, do we know each other? In response to my question, Draco smiled. Oh, is it me? My name is Draco Edgeworth. Oh, wait a minute. Is, is it little brother or his son? Was that brought out? I don't know if that was brought out. See, I forget. But anyways, my name is Draco Edgeworth. It is a pleasure to meet you. Wow. Draco! Draco! Well. But only silence answers my cries. Chapter 2, the end. Oh, so that was chapter 1 and 2. Well, I'm gonna save here. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save it here. Okay. And I'm actually going to end the video there. So, uh, this was Vincent, The Secret of Myers. Uh, this is a very, very interesting game, and I would love to see, continue playing and seeing the outcome of this game. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. As always, it helps the channel tremendously. And if you want to see any more gameplay videos, I will post them up uh, at the end of this video. The links will come up there, and you can just visit my channel and find them from there as well. So without further ado, that is all I'm going to have for today. Everyone have a fantastic day. Uh, you're all beautiful people. I just wanted you to know that. And yeah. So, that's it. Bye-bye!